probably gonna be like, I want to say probably Roy. Yeah, yeah. It, definitely expect to see the Roy if he's getting edge guard or anything. We could see the Meta Knight come out just to try and you know edge guard Luigi himself. But his Roy has you know really solid ground game. Knows his options. He says it's his best character, and I'm leaning towards believing him. Yeah. I've seen the Falco come out a couple of times too. Well, let's That's see how they. Oh. This matchup specific for the Falco. He just stood there and said, "Come into it." Missed the first couple of hits. And it, was, <laughs> it was like Kong Kong was like dash dancing and he just stood there and did double edge dance one two three and that actually worked out. I can't believe that worked. All right, so I was about jab, not gonna find the punch, but here we go, Kong Kong. Oh wow, not actually a whole lot of damage. Yeah, for so, uh, what we're used to. Yeah, uh, maybe he was trying to find some kind of crazy roll read or something. Not quite gonna happen, but yeah, I love the movement that. Cyro is exhibiting that is capable with Roy. You can do the double edge dance, wave bounce, or B reverses. Oh yeah, it's so and fun it to watch. You land and it's a very nice uh, option just because it stalls you in the air a little bit. And as you land, you can be able to go down and just uh, continue and go ham. Oh! Has to get around. Uh, oh my god, and he's just <laughs> gone. Now, that's one thing I've noticed Cyro goes for a lot is if he expects you a jab, he'll just jump over and back at you with punish or grab. And it takes stocks really early, especially with the powered up sweet spot. Yeah. And now a 36% combo from Cyro already, looking to lap Kong Kong in percent here. Mm -hmm. Tries to clip him, not quite, and he's trying to find the less trap, but Roy's a little bit too fast, so wasn't going to get to set the two that forward smash. Got him on the other side though, and that get up attack range, just catching Kong Kong off guard. Able yeah, to attack on the damage still. Kong Kong kind of just being overwhelmed with how fast these sword hitboxes come out in his face right now. Just do Cyro doing a great job of just not letting uh, Kong Kong get an opening. <laughs> and just oh, spacing that's outside the uh, plungers. Yeah, I'll be the No, he's not, not dead. Great the eye. Alrighty, never mind. Oh no! All right, great Wait, is he oh, gone? He yeah. is. I'm sure he wanted to do up B, but just kind of maybe had his stick so positioned for the tech instead. It's not quite going to work out there. And Cyro, looking like potentially a three stock. He was ready for that landing Luigi Cyclone as well. Very unsafe, even on shield. Yeah, Cyro, honestly, one of the best players I know at just staying like calm, cool, and collected in this match. It doesn't matter who he's playing. Whether he's about to win about a three stock, someone like Kong Kong, or if he's, you know, down on his luck press to the corner he's very good at just staying calm playing his game plan and making it work for him and that's the full charge that is the three stock for Cyro. did you see Kong Kong's face <laughs> he just like rubbed his eye like damn i got <laughs> damn, i got bodied there well we'll have to see how this goes down Kong Kong's gonna have to make some adjustments uh, to see how this goes down <laughs> all right the bands are in I think we're going back to Pokemon Stadium. Actually, I just I just caught a glance. Yeah, we'll see how this goes. Still sticking with the <laughs> Luigi. Yeah. Switches to the blue color this time. Matches his shirt. And you know, Cyro looking real strong right now. No surprise, the Roy is still around. Oh, never mind. We're going to FD. Okay. Let's see how this goes on. It's very easy to try and get those zero to death combos. Potentially goes in for the jabs instead. Not able to get anything else, and the berry comes out. And Cyro's very good at playing anti-grab, as we've been seeing, you know, he's not letting Kong Kong get a lot of these tech chase grabs. <laughs> Spot dodging them, outspacing them, he is just not letting Kong Kong in. Yeah, he seems very comfortable in this matchup. I don't know where he gets all that Luigi practice from, but he feels like it knows where Kong Kong wants to be and what option he's trying to go for every single time. Yeah, catches Kong Kong pressing too many buttons and he just simply does a roll. Cyro keeping his cool be able to continue his advantage here. Oh, well, that was uh, something. Great tech there from Cyro. Not phased by it, but the jab clanking with the grab hitbox, and then Kong Kong just getting another grab. This is working out great for him, this FD pick. Yeah, he still hasn't closed out the stock yet, though, and Roy can do that at any time, basically, so we'll have to see how it goes. Gonna get that back, though. Still not enough to take it. Not right at the ledge. He's got another opportunity. The get up attack! Wow, Kong Kong not ready for it, but just gets right out of that position there with the Cyclone. Oh, ja nail one into the jab, but he goes a little too high for the back air. This fire comes out, keeps him safe, goes a little bit underneath, and he's able to double jump back. Cyrus got to figure out a way to close out the stock before things get too scary. I mean, now this is just really looking on it. 
on like it's on Cyro to try and find an opening, but if he commits to anything, that's a quick 70%. Yeah, that was great. Just uses the up air juggles and he caught the DI in every single time. And another Cyclone puts him off stage. Potential edge guard here. Not able to get anything, but still, that's a lot of damage. And still, Concon is his first stock. This is kind of the the danger of Roy. Sometimes you can kill at like 60, and sometimes you can't kill at all just because you lost all your setups once you hit like that 100 range. Yeah. Because it's like you don't get your tech chases anymore. You gotta get like a sour spot or something. And intentionally getting that is sometimes difficult just with the way Roy plays. There we go. The dash attack puts him off stage one more time. I want to say he's using that Zare, or he's using that grab to just have a constant hitbox yeah. going downward. He's not quite clipping it, but I mean, I guess the pressure and the idea is still there. Back throw. Well, I mean, like, if he is able to find the falling Zare, he can run off and down air them out of it. It is a combo that I've seen KonKon pull on people before. But right now, it looks like KonKon's looking to answer with his own free stop. Yeah. Alrighty. And potentially, yeah, like you said, might answer back with a three stock of his own. Up air, oh, okay, not able to find the grab, but still, just a down tilt, and again, it sends him too far. Roy not able Ooh. to find his setups, and the jab not working out either. Yeah, this is trying to look really difficult for Cyro to find this first stock. If he's able to find it, though, Roy finds some early stocks, he can still bring this back. Yeah, I mean, we saw Cyro three stock him, like, he can, he can play consistently. Yeah, I mean, he, Kon -Kon. he proved he only needs one stock on game one, yeah. but KonKon, not to take away from him, he's been playing this game number two very, very well. Cyro catching on to these landing down bees. I respect it from KonKon. He's taking a little bit more risks because he has that sock lead, trying to go for like double cyclone mix-ups instead of just doing a different option immediately after the first cyclone doesn't work. We'll have to see the ledge option. Oh, trying to pick Ooh. him up with the up tilt. The parry comes out, but not able to get anything else. It's still that back air. Puts him on stage one more time. I Cyro try to side B through these, use the weight bounce movement to break through the barrage of fireballs that he's facing. But Konkon not letting him have it, looking for that grab at the ledge, not going to find it. Landing Zero not going to connect into the jabs, but Konkon gets the reverse hit for a down throw into the cyclone. Is that going to do it? No, Cyro, great DI. Oh, but the down smash, breakdance on him. Still got his jump available though, tries to catch him again with it. Not quite though, and immediately rises up with the double edge dance. Ledge Trump, not able to find it, but still the ledge control from Cyro. Can he do it? He's still trying to keep this going. What? Woo! Oh, yeah, I think they added some intangibility. Yeah, it, like it has a little bit of armor, yeah. I think, right? Yeah, it's like invulnerability or something like that. Because we saw the, the hitboxes register just clanked out there. So Look, all, all I know is I can't up throw up air Luigi with <laughs> because of it. Oh, man. Okay, the breakdance comes in one more time. Oh, he's trying to go for these edge guards. Not quite coming to fruition. I respect the attempts. Yeah, and that's going to be able to close out the stock. Yeah, it almost looked like it did it, but yeah. That'll be it. KonKon taking it with the two stock. Not as impressive as the three stock, but still, the adaptation was there, and that, I think, is even more impressive than the stock number on the screens here. Yeah, I mean, I definitely don't expect to see Final Destination again. Yeah, no flash stages that at looked all. <laughs> It looked very difficult for Cyro to find an opening onto KonKon. Kon. He was uh, forced to play KonKon's game very patiently, just making him jump over the fireballs and commit to something that KonKon Kon was able to shield grab or, you know, call out with an air-to-air -air or something like that. All right. Did you see what stage you're going to? I was so busy looking at you. I was, I was looking at chat. Okay. All righty. <laughs> we'll see what this last stage is going to be. KonKon Kon, trying to hype himself up, keep himself collected. Trying to bring himself back. He's always back, baby. Three. Yoshi's All Island! Right. Yoshi's, I'm not actually... I wasn't quite ready for this pick. This isn't what I was expecting, but... You know what? Cyro yeah, probably has a game plan. I just don't personally like the stage, but maybe Cyro does. A lot of people, it's an auto ban for them, but you know what? I guess it's like, you know what? This It's available. Let's, look, let's go for it. <laughs> Both of these characters can kill ridiculously early on this stage, actually, because it does have the shortest ceiling and the most narrow blast zones in our legal rule set so you can get some pretty ridiculously early kills and especially I with those slants might mess up luigi's combo game i can see why you went to this stage oh yeah no it definitely makes sense and right there we actually saw sour or sweet spot rather up air trade with con con on landing what was that down smash i think the the lip of the ledge yeah. there allowed him to be able to get both hits of that down smash that's why it was angled like that that's actually pretty scary i didn't know you could do that try to get the jab lock with the fireball not quite able to find anything back throw comes out potential ledge guard he goes for it he gets it 
That's it! And so oh, has no jump. Great edge guard there. Now this is Cyro's opportunity. Not able to find it though. Cyro yeah. got hit with that side me and I got really scared for a second. Yeah, if that like clip his jump or something, that would be unfortunate. But okay, great smash. Punish. Yeah, that would be able to do it. Says you cannot be landing on th me with that anymore. I will not have it. Making it very unsafe for Kong Kong gonna punish with that forward smash. Oh, trying to go in with that fair, but of course Roy Sword is gonna outspace that. But the up air juggles into the fair. Cyro right now kind of just holding forward into Kong Kong and he's really starting to get punished for it. Yeah, he's trying to open him up, but he's not quite having it. Oh, and the spacing just grabs him right out of it. Got another potential potential. Oh, potential punish, but not quite able to find it. I feel like Hong Kong keeps calling out Cyro's rolls on stage, but he hesitates. Mm -hmm. Cyro getting very lucky because of it. He hasn't been losing stocks because of his ledge getup, but he's been very close multiple times. Back throw. Uh, back throw, not... Oh, it is gonna kill. Yeah, it looked like it was just enough, actually. Ooh. Oh, he called it out, but he hesitated as well we've been seeing that a lot from these two you know Kong Kong has something approved saying why was I honorable mention on the PR I could have been on it myself has something approved saying this guy's number 16 I'll take him out yeah but uh, that directional air dodge is very laggy of course against especially with a floaty character like Luigi he's gonna stay in that free fall for a very long time it gives himself an opportunity the footstool not able to yeah, find anything and again yeah, Kong has been doing a good job at staying right outside the range of where Cyro wants to space his aerials, and then just going in with that tether grab. He has the range to be able to contest that, and that's been working out well for him. Alright, Cyro gets the landing back here, forces Kong Kong onto the ledge, calls out the neutral gap. <gasps> no! <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, boy. That is... The factor you have to worry about when you fight a Luigi. Are you? I know it's.